cool. Let's start this off. Of course we're going to leave him named Chrono. Nobody renames Chrono. Come on. I'm playing this on the uh, the Steam version, by the way. Um, just because Steam version, whatever, it's okay. It's not bad. I'm using a USB Super Nintendo controller for maximum authenticity. What's up, High Noon? How's it going, man? We got to play some Overwatch again sometime. It's been too long. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the follow, Coins George. Um, so Chrono Trigger is my favorite game of all time. It's uh, it's such a great story. Uh, the music is amazing. The graphics are great. The character design is really cool. Um, Akira Toriyama, who did the art for Dragon Ball, um, also did the character and monster design for Chrono Trigger. So it's got that uh, connection too to one of my one of my uh, favorite comic artists. So. Uh, it's just a great game. So yeah, I think I'm gonna over, you know, I don't know how long it's gonna take, but over the course of a few weeks, few months, who knows, uh, play through Chrono Trigger completely, start to finish, uh, on stream, that's the goal. And, uh, yeah, so, without much further ado, let's start right now. Should, uh, should be good. Yeah. He did. Is Chrono correct? Of course it is. Let's do this. And just like... Another great stream these days it begins with seagulls. Thanks for the follow, Greg Q. Appreciate it, man. The balloons rise above the Millennium Fair. It's such like a, it's such a cool beginning too because it's you don't see many RPGs. Well, I should say you don't see many non-SquareSoft RPGs with like a good establishing shot. You know, like kind of setting up the world, right? Chrono, Chrono. Still sleeping? Yeah, of course. What else would the main character be doing at the beginning of an RPG? Ah, <sighs> like, playing Chrono Trigger is like slipping into a nice, warm blanket, you know? I've played through it almost every year since uh, it came out in 1995, I believe it was. I missed a year here and there, but I pretty much played through it every year since then. Since I rented it, I rented a Super Nintendo from like Blockbuster or something on my birthday and this is the game I got with it because I knew I liked RPGs and, and the rest is history yeah yeah once our rank is going again we'll have to play some high noon it's time to get up though right now oh sick yeah if I were to get a tattoo Chrono Trigger would definitely be up on the list for that Magus and Robo though that's cool so here's a question L-E-E-N-E. -E -E. How would you pronounce that? Because when I was a kid, I had to make up all the pronunciations for the stuff, because I didn't know. So I always just said, Leans. Leans Bell, which I don't know if that's right or not, but I've been saying it that way for 20 years, so I'm not going to change it. Yep. Yeah. So I'm playing the Steam version. I heard it has some bugs, but we'll see. It seemed okay so far. I will behave myself today at the Millennium Affair. Or will I? Out of bed with you. It looks good on stream, though. Yeah. Looking solid. Let's see. Oh, it's got auto run on? We don't need that. Hold on. Where do I change this? Control. Movement. We don't want to run on, on automatically. That's not right. There we go. Press B to run. That's how it works. Nothing to find in this room. You know, in RPG, you always have to go and check to see if you can find anything in drawers or anything in the very first screen. What's up, Grammy USA? Go see. Now, again, because I have a history of not pronouncing E's at the end of things when I was a kid, I was called Marl Marl, and Luca's just Luca, right? You could say Luca. I always said Luca. At this point, who cares? Of course I'll stop by. I've got a feeling that invention may be crucial to pushing the storyline forward. That's a hat of the cat, of course. Where's my, why is my cat making, why isn't my cat making noise? Oh wait. I hear it. I hear it. It's just a little bit, a little bit quiet. Change it to 70 sound effects. You couldn't do this in the old version, of course. Hey, give me some money. That's right. If you don't talk to your mom twice, you don't get your allowance. 
200 gold seems like a very large allowance. <laughs> but, uh... But hey, I'll take it. Nothing else to explore here. I can't even eat my dinner. Ah. Yeah. These are some great sprite-based games, it is true. I can save my game now that we're on the overworld map. Why not obsessively save? Like any good RPG player would do. You go right to Lean Square. I could play through this game in my sleep. I played through it so many times. The sou the thousandth 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 anniversary of our kingdom's foundation. Your festivities. I surely would if I were your age. Sure, I'll enjoy. Live happily ever after. And they did. So I've got this game down to science. See? There we go. That's right. That's right. I'm so good at this. I've done it a few times. Yep. I missed the first one, but never gonna happen again. Yeah. That's right. So five is enough, I think, to give me like a little bit of gold if I remember right. Oh, I know. They won't talk to me. The runners, that is. Fiend Lord, 400 years ago. I love games about time travel, too. I just love anything time travel, time travel related. We've got 200 gold. This guy, uh... I have 600 total. Yeah, because I think you start with 200 and then your mom gives you... No, you start with 400 and your mom gives you 200. That's what it is. Yeah. Yay! They're the runners. There they are. So one of the early tricks you learn in this game is that you can actually slow down the runners a little bit by passing over their sprites. And because of this, you can actually influence the results of the race, because there, there's like a little betting minigame. But if you run your sprite over their sprites, it kind of messes with them a little bit. It works, you know, to varying degrees of success, but it is something you can do. The Fiend Lord. See, the thing is, in the trial, I think there's like a thing where, if I remember right, it asks if you ran into her or she ran into you, but she can't run into you, as you can see. It's impossible. You have to be the one to initiate contact there. Uh, I haven't played Final Fantasy uh, Tactics Advance. I've not done it yet. Fate. Am I okay? I'm fine. Pendant. You think it'd be the giant sparkling thing on the ground? It is. I'm like, well, I guess I'll go pick it up. And I guess I'll bring it back to you. A lot of sentimental value, I'll say. Yes. Sure. I'm a nice guy. And so now, you don't know it when you're starting this game. And of course, we're gonna give you the default name, because I always just like to give my characters a default name in this. It's gonna be Marl, of course. Marley, as some say. I just say Marl. So why not? That's correct. I'm Chrono. That's right. What a coincidental name, considering the nature of this RPG. And so you don't know it yet, but your behavior when Marl starts following you around influences a trial shortly into the game. So you have to do a bunch of nice things if you want the trial to go well. Like, for instance, her kitty ran away. Because I've done this a million times, I know exactly where it is. It's right over here. This guy talks about his lunch sitting over there. You can go and eat it. You can actually walk up and eat it. I'm not going to do that. Because that's a negative trial thing. So you go up and talk to the cat. It follows you. Uh, I'm stuck on an old man. There we go. The cat gets stuck on basically every surface imaginable. So you pretty much have to just walk and give the cat a lot of room to go around things. Because <laughs> it will get stuck constantly. And you just lead it back with a little girl, of course. There you go. I'm so sweet. I gotta try the drinking competition, of course. Drinking contest. It's soda. Uh, can I get to eight? Come on! Yeah! I did it! I nailed that one. Yes. Five silver points from that. I'm awfully competitive. It's it's true. I am. 
owned it. And uh, let's see. Other stuff you can do. Talk to this guy. Take a look at Melchior's blades. I'm tempted to get. Uh, eh, There's a little bit of a damage upgrade. Generally, I buy some tonics and healing things. The uh, you can buy a little bit of armor with the gold that you end up making in the fair. Um, sword's okay. Probably armor and tonics are the better things to go with here. I'm just gonna look because what it does it it initiates a little bit of dialogue here. By the way, is there any chance you could talk that young lady into selling her pendant? And I just say no. Yep, because if you say yes, then that uh, votes as a negative in the trial. If you don't bother, then you're okay. Of course, we can go and fight Gato. Get some silver points that way. Have you ever tried to sync up the uh, words of the song with the song itself? It's not easy. Try if you beat me up, you earn 15 points. Oh man, let's see if this doesn't work out very well. So, what song is he singing to? And now you see, they do change the interface a little bit on the Steam version. Which I'm like, eh. As a Chrono Trigger purist, it hurts me a little bit, but as a more apathetic person, I'm like, kind of whatever. He did a lot of damage to Marl right away, holy cow. doesn't uh, hammer her quite as hard. It's a nice critical hit. That'll be enough to do it. Yes. And now he sings again. At least we assume he's singing, because he's talking into a microphone. There we go. 15 silver points. Wonderful. Let's go cash in. And you cash in right over here. 25. Uh, sure. Can do that twice. Sure. I could use another, uh, five silver points. Actually, I could just do the drinking game again for five silver points. Because I did so well last time. Alright, go! Uh... There you go. It's so easy. This feels a lot easier on this version of the game than uh, in on the actual SNES and stuff. There's an easy five silver points. I've now drinking a drink. <laughs> 16 cans of soda. There we go. Smooth, 150 gold. Let's see what we can buy. Get some armor. Don't need to get any armor for uh, Marley just yet. She's uh, going to be leaving us soon anyway. Uh, pad vest. I could get that. And I could get a weapon. It's a pretty huge defensive upgrade, that's the thing. But the funny thing is that the Bronze Helm gives you exactly as much defense as the thing that's 100 gold more than it, so... We pretty much just want to get the Helm. And... Oh, Lucas' device is set up. I think this guy sells items. Yeah, there we go. Um, I'm gonna get five potions. Don't need a shelter yet. Yes, I know. Luke's device is set up. It's true. I'm chugging that soda, man. Alright. I'll take a look. I'm just gonna buy the, uh, the sword here. Why not? Let's do it. No, I will not. Sorry. Alright. Gotta equip. A little bit of an upgrade there. Alright. Let's go check out the time machine. But first, Marley needs some candy. And now we wait. That's the thing. This is the hardest part for any young child playing Crown Trigger for the first time. As I was, um, 12 I guess I was when this game came out. Uh, so like not touching anything on the controller for like 30 seconds, that was the hardest part for sure. There we go. I've been patient now. I've gained patience in my old age. Hyperdimensional transporter. But what century is it an invention of now? 20th or 21st? 
Or does all this work? Be teleported here. Am I going too fast with the dialogue? Hey, what's up? No one wants to try my telepod. No. I feel like uh, the dialogue is a little bit different. Be wrong though. What does teleport mean? That's great. Nothing will go wrong. I'm sure everything will work just fine. Of course it will. So while we're waiting for me to be teleported completely safely, what uh, what other RPG should I play? safe. Huh? Is Luca jealous, or is she just critical of my choices in women? Hard to tell. You ever wonder how Tabin's head must look without a sprite-based thing? It's gotta be shaped kinda weird. feels good to play with this. It really does. Old Shining Force games? I haven't played any of those, actually. It'd be fun to play when I haven't played before. Good luck. Good luck, Marl. Hope you teleport just fine. Final Fantasy X? That's, uh, that's a possibility. Although, the thing is, I can't. I don't think I can play Final Fantasy X on this stream. Because I'd end up just playing Blitzball the entire time. I would just be trapped in the Blitzball loop for the rest of eternity, like I almost was last time I played Fancy Fancy Ten. Oh no, the pendant! It's huh? Strange things are afoot at the Millennial Fair. No, dude, Blitzball was super good. Like Blitzball was Final Fantasy Ten for me. It was. Jack shot all day, every day, you know. That, it was like a triple triad in Final Fantasy VIII. Such a great minigame. Oh goodness, where did she go? She's not really appearing. But her pendant, it didn't go too. Everything's fine. All fine here. How are you? Yeah, the jack shot just like never failed. You got in range, man? You can get every time. It couldn't have been the telepod. I've got a feeling this is a time for someone like me to step up and do something heroic. Hmm, her face looks familiar. That's called foreshadowing. I'm just gonna run in a circle. He's panicking. We should say if you talk to her again. Yeah. Oh, right. Let's just have it. Do it. I'm going. I'm going in. What a fine lad. It seems very irresponsible for Taven to be like, Hey, this one child disappeared. I'm going to let this other child get on there and disappear too. I like that Tevin's way of using the machine just to hit it with a hammer over and over again. Check that out. Or a wrench, maybe. That may be part of the flaw in the design right there. Roger. It really is one of the best soundtracks of all time. Oh, uh, sorry. Hope this doesn't 
mess with anybody. This is an effect that pops up in the game pretty frequently. Yikes. Yeah, I, I feel like I listen to the soundtrack for Chrono Trigger in some form, like, every other day, practically. Completely safe. Or is it? Oh no, I've gone to the planet Namek. Actually, it's just a Kira Toriyama's arc. So this game, uh, the combat system is based on a action bar that fills up, obviously. But the really cool thing about the combat system in this game is that uh, you can do what are called triple techs and double techs. Double techs, triple techs, I should say. And uh, that lets you kind of combine abilities in a predetermined way. So you do an attack you could not do before. 47 health? Yeah, I don't need to heal just yet. For some reason, I always like check for chests even if I know that they aren't going to be any there. Oh no, it's more blue imps. So I don't have any text just yet, so I'm relegated to just auto-attacking right now. But the thing is, in Chrono Trigger, 90% of the time, you're going to be just auto-attacking. Because your, your basic attacks do so much damage, and your magic is generally pretty limited. Ooh, but I already learned Cyclone, not bad. Potion. Where am I at, health-wise? Eh, I could probably use a potion. I got an extra one, so why not? Power glove. It's so bad. Headband, eh. Yeah, I only lose one speed, so I usually do equip the power, glo power glove. And... See, the thing is, in Chrono Trigger, you can you can skip enemies like this. It's generally good to fight them, though, your first playthrough, because, like any old RPG, you're going to need... You're going to need... Oh, I can even do this. Oh, look at that. You can even... Uh, you're going to need the, the levels, basically. Look at this. I was so good at avoiding this. Let's do some cycloning. There. That should be some good damage. Yeah, they are. You know, I've never played Xenogears, actually. Haven't done that yet. Oh, I love all this music. I'm gonna get save. Clean returns. So you're like, this looks somewhat like home. Have you been in your cups? No, I've been drinking soda. Guardia, the 21st. So you're like, wait a second. What time is it? I feel like Fiend Lord wasn't the original title for Magus. I should have put weapons on that, it's true. You can sell, no, I thought you sell a wooden sword. 50 for the wooden sword is not bad. It's time to buy, let's see, because Luke is showing up soon, but can't buy that yet. This is the follow. Edutas. Pretty minimal defensive increase. I'm going to get a lot more gold soon anyway, though, so I'm just going to pick it up. And now I can sell the old one anyway. So I'm doing okay. Do come again. I shall. So it is fun to kind of like go around and talk to everybody. This is one of the things I really enjoyed in the old RPGs is that you just walk around and like talk to random people. Then might you show the good grace to stop wandering about pesting food with moronic questions. The funny thing is I believe that's the guy who used to say then shut your pie hole. <laughs> Which apparently was too objectionable for children. This is no time for mirth and mummery. Yeah, I feel like they've changed some of the dialogue in the original translation. Alright, can anyone confirm that? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm 
stuck. Am I actually stuck? There we go. Whew. Oh, it was a close call. Yo, what's up, Toma? Mm, yeah, sure. Another mug. The missing queen. Wow, but she has been found. I expect when you played these RPGs, you'd always explore it, and then you'd be like, what's this? That will play into things later on. Yeah, after I play through Chrono Trick, I'll try to find a game that I haven't played through before. Banta. So it's a bit suspicious that this missing queen has been found in the same place that I just appeared. Ah, uh, in Guardia Forest. About to enter one of the places with the best music in any game ever. So good. I love that music. Anyway, uh, I kind of avoided all the monsters there, but that's okay. Yo, what's up? A oh, land clothes. You know, the clothes don't look that much more updated for being, you know, another 400 years in the future, the time that Chrono is from anyway. She looks familiar. Hee hee. Wait, I know that hee hee. I envy you to be favored by the queen. That doesn't look suspicious at all. Hmm. Oh yes, I can rest. And how refreshing is this, right? Like a game with no map? Like, you don't have a minimap showing you where to go, you don't have a marker telling you where every quest objective is. How refreshing is that, right? You have to actually find things for yourself? That's great. I would like to rest, in fact. Gain a little bit of my tech points back again. Gain a little of my HP back again. See, that's actually one of the things I really like about uh, Octopath Traveler, um, is that you can just turn off the map. I wish I could do that in World of Warcraft, actually. Because right now, I, I don't know if there's a mod somewhere maybe to hide quest objectives in WoW, but if there is, I'd love to know about it. But then again, the, the NPC dialogue in WoW for the quest doesn't... Uh, it's not as descriptive as uh, as far as like where the quest happens as it used to be. Her Majesty awaits me. What is up? Hmm, it's even younger now. That's suspicious. Whoa, treasure chest. Hold on. I think this is an ether, if I remember right. That's right. Dashing? I'm dashing. Have you seen my hair? It's like red-haired Goku. Why, this is not proper at all.
Tee hee. Oh, guess who it is? It's Marley. Suspicious. Now we have a tender moment. Wow. It's true. I'm just a hero, that's what heroes do. That's not good. I like that when that happens to Marley Crona, like puts his arms up too. It's like, I'm sympathizing. Oh, that's a problem. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Everything's fine. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, no, of course I didn't. I wouldn't do that. Come on, it's me, Chrono. I think if you say yes, she says something like, oh, how juicy, or something like that. Whoa! They're letting just anybody in here now, okay. Can't see the dialogue box? Oh, you're right. That's a very good point. With the current trigger, I suppose that is a problem. Where should I put this then? Should I put it down here? It's probably okay. There we go. Sorry about that. I didn't even think of that. Sorry about my face. There we go. Hopefully that's better. She's a princess? What? And now, a handy demonstration of how family lines work. Yep, so there we go. A small child with clothes comes out, puts on another set of clothes, gets slightly larger, eventually grows up to wear a dress, nods, and produces an heir. There you go. Riley is stuck in her larval state. So the queen was kidnapped, someone's supposed to save her, but history's been changed because now they don't know they need anyone to go save the queen. So now, if something happens to this queen, it's going to annihilate the rest of the family line, including our good friend Milo. That's how time travel works. Well, at least that's how it works in this game. It's kind of a back to the future sort of philosophy. But the thing is, if the entire royal line gets changed, you'd think the entire kingdom would be changed. Catastrophically as well. Even to the point where things like, uh, if it was a completely different kingdom, like Chrono's parents wouldn't have met. Although, he doesn't appear to have a dad, so who knows. He could have been uh, born like Anakin Skywalker. I think that's the only time I've heard that story. Yeah. So. Anyway. Time to find the queen. I don't have any equipment for Luca. Right? <coughs> Excuse me. Sight scope. Oh, yeah, reveals HP. Don't really need to headband, to headband on that. Uh, is it worth using a tech? Probably. No, nah, I can't at all. Please, so sorry. Phew. Yeah, like I said, in this game, most of the time you're just going to be using the uh, normal attack. So if Luca gets a critical hit, then uh, I can one-shot this guy. Which is so 
Chrono crits, though. The critical hit stuff with Chrono's sword is just like one of the most satisfying animations ever. Wow, I got 120 gold for that? Man, that was really good. Find some more guys to fight. There we go. It's like dive bombs you. What's that? It's happening. What's up? Joe Low? I'm doing uh, pretty good. Any day you play Chrono Trigger is a good day. Satisfying critical hit animation. 96 gold? Not too bad. Uh, yeah. Let's go and buy some gear. So, what I should do is pick up a bronze helm for Luca. The thing is, either it's 400 gold right now, and you don't really need that as much. That might be good to just sell now, actually. I'm not gonna need the magic points. Yeah. Can't afford that yet. Can't afford that yet, but I can get a couple more potions, which are gonna be a little bit more useful. sleeping in really quick. It's only 10G. Cheaper than a potion. So it's more economic. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm playing Octopath Traveler right now. Well, not like right now, right now, but you know what I mean. I've been playing it lately. Alright, so immediately we know to go to the Manolia Cathedral. I don't remember that being the name before. I love how, like, wonderfully creepy this place is. Like, immediately you're like, wait a second, this is not... This is not a good place. Yeah, super creepy. Go Pack Go, that's right. Oh man, it was such an agonizing thing yesterday. Ty Montgomery, why did you try to run that back? Should have just taken a knee, man. Sorry. Oh. Oh well. We came close to beating the best team in the NFL. That feels good. It's Guardia's Royal Crest. It's a coral hairpin. Remember, they said that the queen uh, was missing it. Oh, the nuns are on fire. And now they're snake ladies. That's not good. Octopath? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I said, uh, yeah, I was doing that. Um, super annoying. Uh, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and attack. I should just be able to finish it with regular attacks. It's usually how it goes. Although I think what they did lowers my attack value. I might have to go ahead and use the uh, Cyclone to get through this one. Oh, it's a slow. That's what it is. This is like the first legitimately difficult semi-difficult fight. That should finish off that one? Oh, no, it didn't. Wow, okay. Oops. Oh, uh, yeah, and that's the thing. Most most uh, tech attacks don't actually do a whole lot of damage. Yeah, it was. It was like Leroy Jenkins in an NFL game. Can't argue with that. Man, these guys are slowing back out of me. It's a pretty obscene amount of damage these guys are soaking. It's getting a little bit concerned here. And like right away you're running into the thing where it's like, maybe in this old school RPG I should have actually just went and leveled up for a while. They aren't doing very much damage though, so there's that. Oh, 
on crit. The slow is pretty annoying. I'm gonna have to take a moment to heal after this round of uh, damage coming in. Um, yeah, I suppose I can. I'm just so slow right now. It's getting difficult to uh, finish them off with all the damage that I'm not doing. I'm not attacking. There we go. This is a critical hit. Alright, that's something. Nice. It seems like if you attack really quickly after the bar fills up, you have a higher chance of getting a crit. That's what I've thought for like the last 20 years of this game. I really doubt there's any coding to back that up. That's just like what it felt like. That's what it's always felt like. I should actually check to see how many guys have. Only 60. Huh. Will, I ever, will I ever stream the games of Mrs. Doa? Probably not. She's not really much of a gamer, so doubt it. Nice, Firewall. Learn the dual attack. Ah. Enter a totally awesome character. Lower your guard and you will allow the enemy in. Oh, what? Did they change it from his like old English to more of a modern English? It used to be lower thy guard and thou wilt allow the enemy in. to save the queen. Uh, wow, I think they changed his English to be, like, more modern. That's sad. I'm trying to not like the Steam version of Crown Trigger. Do as thou please. Yeah, by not grinding, I'm just playing on a higher difficulty. That That is true, but sometimes you just can't keep up. A little bit of grinding is okay. Old Scar RPGs demand it. That's right. Thanks for the follow. Happy Monday. Yeah, I'm so, uh, I'm so surprised. Like, why would they change that? Who would, uh... I was named Frog, that's true. Like, who would, th who would look at, like, the old English and be like, this is too complex for modern people to deal with? Come on. I think we all know what, like, thou means and, like, we and stuff, right? Alright. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna go and hit the end really quick. And maybe hit the market as well. I like how Frog's move is to just flex and his bicep gets really huge. How does that work? Um, probably want to pick up one shelter at this point. Alright. And let's just spend the night at the end again really quick. It's only 10 gold. It's worth it to get all your stuff back. Yeah, it's not. It's really not Americans. Like, I still think most Americans would know what Old English means. I don't know. Maybe they're thinking about like trying to make it accessible for kids of this generation, which I suppose you don't maybe have as many kids that are familiar with that kind of thing. But everybody still reads like Shakespeare and stuff in school, right? So, all right. Now you look around like, where do I go? This was, I remember when I first played the game, I was like, well, what do I do? So I just randomly walked up to the piano. And I open up. Uh, secret passageway. That's right.
So the, the trick was always to try to avoid as many of these guys as possible. But I'm not going to try that too hard here because I do kind of want to gain some levels and gold and stuff like that. Frog just does like a ton of damage right out of the gate, so that's helpful. See, I haven't been in school for a long time, so I don't know how much Shakespeare or content containing Old English is taught. I have to fight some guys here. Maiden suit? Oh yeah, nice. So it's a pretty decently hard fight after this, if I remember right. Oh yeah, he starts with bronze stuff, but you do get good gear. Potion. And then I have to fight. But what? What? Oh, there we go. Yeah, the Naga. Right, that's what initiates it. <laughs> These guys, you kind of just have to... Have to fight. It does a lot of damage. And if I remember, the techs don't do a lot. I can't get all three. That's not a whole lot. Alright. We'll try it out. I just haven't done it for a long time. Oh yeah, that had some damage. Yeah. Oh, they don't have a lot of HP anyway. I remember these guys being tougher than they were. Than they are, apparently. That's actually kind of like awful because of how bad soda is for you. I would say, oh nice, steel saber, sweet. I would say it's just don't order the soda at all because it's really awful for you. I want this treasure chest. I can get it. I can dodge everything. I'm so good. Probably shouldn't be dodging. I'll fight these guys again. Well, you know, you can just see what I do sometimes. I don't do fast food very often, but when I do, if, like, a big pop comes with it, I just tell them I don't want it. And they always look really surprised about that. But, or I just take it and I fill it with water. I mean, if you get, like, a free 2 liter, liter bottle of soda, the best thing you can do with it is just pour it out. Because it's gross and disgusting and will do nothing but harm you. Yeah, yeah, just pour it out. Don't drink it. You don't need that, that poison. Fighting the snake dudes. I always thought these snake guys look like they're wearing sort of like a, a business collar and a tie, kind of. You see it? You'll have to look at it again when, when I fight the next guys. You can't unsee it once you see it. Yeah, I'm in disguise, right? Hmm. So they're out there pretending to be humans, wow. They got some soldiers, maybe I can rescue them. Oh, Yakra, impersonating the Chancellor, I see. Hmm. Yeah, you see it? The business collar? Like, look at those guys. Like, look, check it out. See, like, look at them, and then imagine that they're wearing, like, they have, like, a little business collar and a tie. So, like, whenever I see these guys, my mind always thinks of them as the business snakes. So, you know, you find a lot of different enemies in Chrono Trigger, but the business snakes are uh, some of my favorites. <laughs> business snakes. Well, this is suspicious. I'm gonna... G, nice. Oh, you did? That's good to know. <laughs> hmm. Wait, what? This seems suspicious. Mwahaha. Oh no, they're business snakes! 
Not the business things. <laughs> Business snakes with a wrench. Ah, I love the critical hit animations with Chrono and Frog are so satisfying. So nice. Three TP. That's tech point, not toilet paper. Funeral dirge. It's, I love how creepy this game gets sometimes. At least I perceive it as creepy. Yeah, it's a good, uh, good cyclone target. But it's, I, I love all the setup they do for Magus in this. So when you finally meet him, it's, like, yeah, it's a big deal. See, these have like. Person torsos coming out of their business collar. Um. Oh, if you uh, by any chance, oh yeah, X strike. Now we're set. If you uh, watch my miniature painting streams at all, I have some good news. I am putting the final touches on a Discord server for people to join and chat and uh, hang out in and share their stuff. In fact, if you look right now at the uh, underneath the screen or underneath the window on my Twitch channel page, you'll find a link to the Discord server and you can join it right now. Uh, what is slash was more entertaining to you? Owl or League of Legends? Why? Uh, they're entertaining in different ways. And I know that sounds like a cop-out answer, but it's really true. Like, League of Legends, I never really enjoyed playing that much, but I really, really loved watching it, and still do. I was watching it just the other day. Um, and I really liked the the player stories that evolved over time. And obviously the player story thing we're going to get with Overwatch League as time goes on, and these stories have time to develop a bit more. Um, but Overwatch, I just really enjoyed playing a lot more than, than League of Legends. It's just more, more my kind of game. I like FPSs. So, I, I enjoyed them both. You know? Or enjoy them both, rather. Should I kill the business snakes? Chat, type 1 if I should kill the business snakes. Should they die? Or should, uh, should they be able to go back to the office on Monday? My favorite trio to beat Lavos with? It's going to be uh, Ayla, Marl, and Chrono. Uh, yeah, I do watch professional fighting games. One? Looks like a lot of ones. Means the end for the business snakes. All right, we gotta kill the business snakes. Poor business snakes. All they want to do is send some faxes, and fill out some uh, finance reports, and now they're dead because of you, chat. You were the reason we had to kill the business snakes. So bloodthirsty. That's my chat, though. But yeah, anyway, um, go check out my uh, Discord server. Have I considered casting a fighting game? Uh, it, you know, I think it, I always thought it'd be really fun. Um, but I just haven't really had the opportunity, honestly. Do I want to use my shelter here? I'll wait a little bit. Oh no! Dodge the bats and... Did that. 
that switch to do something. Can't remember what exactly. Oh no! Oh my. Yeah, Dragon Ball Fighters is probably the one I'd be the most interested in casting. I really enjoy that game. I'm not like super good at it or anything like that, but I really enjoy playing it. Yeah, DBZ Fighters is a lot of fun to watch actually. Chrono, are you gonna die? I think Chrono will be okay, guys. This will be a fight to go use the uh, shelter after, though, I think. <laughs> Dota? Yeah. Hopefully for the uh, Dota community, I never uh, cast Dota again. Yeah, potion. Let's go use it. Well... I'm feeling so stingy right now. So, I'm trying to remember if the switch... I don't want to go back there. If the switch li lifted those stairs. Dodging. There we go. Oh, yeah. So good. Ooh. Dodging enemies. Hey, it's a shelter. Alright, so now that I have two, I can just go ahead and use one right now. Oh boy. It's a fight. Hmm. Do I want to use a flame roll on this to avoid using more HP? Probably not a bad idea, honestly. Can I hit three? There we go. That's what I'm looking for. That'd be good. Oh, they did? OG and Global put all their uh, old VODs back out? Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know that. Maybe I'll have to go watch some old school me. OG me. Spamming the A button. Uh, okay. That was worth... That was worth using a flame world. Iron Sword. I think that's for Frog. All oh, right, that opens the door up there. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully that solo cast doesn't happen again. <laughs> that was, uh, you know, it was it was fun, but uh, it was fun, but uh, it's it's so much easier with two people. <laughs> I remember that day, cause like Monty was gone. And Chobra was my co-caster, but he had something else going on so that he couldn't join me immediately. So I had to I had to cast an entire game of League of Legends by myself. And then uh, I also had to deal with like a half hour delay before the matches began. Tons of fun. Did okay though. I survived it. I'm getting so much gold actually. I forgot how generous they are with gold in this game. Which is totally weird for an old school RPG. But that's how this one is. Alright, I think we're ready to go fight Yakra. Dodge these guys. Another thing. I'm like way too good at dodging enemies. That's the thing. Alright, let's save. Let's go. It's boss time. Oh, I wanted to loot the chest, but I can't do that until I view. How did you get in here? I played the pipe organ. <laughs> yeah, it's on YouTube somewhere. I think somebody made some clips out of it. Pretty sure. Alright, time for me to dispatch this fiend. Oh, I will leave this place alive. It's like this guy doesn't realize he's the very first boss in an RPG. 
You're a practice dummy, man. Yeah, it's a very anti-frog thing to say. It's I like how he transforms like Sailor Moon. He kind of just like spins around, and that's what turns him into. It's a very old school transformation, really. He's the one called Sailor Moon or Yakra. All right. So this is where you basically just X strike over and over again. And then Luca attacks and heals people when she needs to. Uh yeah, don't really need to do that yet. I can just stand here. And we're gonna X strike. Just we're gonna just X strike until we're out of mana. Sometimes you have to take breaks to use potions. Not quite yet. He does have one attack that does like 80 damage, I think. It's like some spine thing or whatever. Uh, there it is. I need a launching attack, so I probably need to heal everybody here. Uh, or just her. Alright. So in that case, just her again, and she'll just potion herself. No! Oh no! Is she gonna kill her? <gasps> 4 HP, that was a close one. I think we need to take a break to uh, do some potions here. His potions only heal for 50. Yikes. That's a bit scary. Continuing to X strike. Uh, yeah, I can spare one attack. I think this guy has like around 1200, 1500 hit points or something like that, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Ugh. But traditionally, X Strike is the damage is the way to do the most damage to him. Uh, he gets healed. Frog is gonna come through that okay. Yeah. There we go. Got him. Nice. XP, it's pretty solid. Alright. 5 DP, pretty good. 600 gold, that is not bad at all. And a level up for Luke. Save the day. Now I can loot these chests. Hey! <laughs> Sack of coin. It's so greedy. I think that's a new line too. I feel like there was something in here. be on our way. And we made it back. Hooray. Still don't trust this Chancellor guy. There may be a fire truck driving by outside. What's up, Cauliflower? How you going? Or how are you doing, rather? No frog. Don't take it so hard. No frog. We gotta find her. Right. 
This game gets kind of heavy, actually, for, you know, a kid's, quote-unquote, kid's game. Like, we're already, like, discussing what it feels like to die and stuff. Which is, which is pretty normal for, like, games and shows from, like, that era. Don't hear that as much anymore. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I don't stream very much. And when I do stream, it's totally inconsistent, so... If I stream more often, I probably have more viewers with me. I'll do it eventually. Sad princess. Uh, yeah, I still would have hang hung out, of course. Why wouldn't I? Let's go home. And you can't Hearthstone, unfortunately. OGN's esports Twitch channel. Name of the broadcaster all vainglory? <laughs> All right, that's cool. I'll have, to, I'll have to look through that. The Twitch channel was never managed terribly well when I was there either. What's Frog's backstory? Hmm. Chill, Marl. Frog's just checking out. That's the lesson we all learned. Maybe frogs aren't so bad after all. And at the end of the day, isn't that what's most important? To learn respect for our small amphibian friends? I think that really is it. But now that I've got three auto attackers, I'm gonna burn through these enemies pretty quick. There. Oh wait, do I have anything I can equip? Really with. Uh, oh, there we go. Nice. Ribbon just gives her accuracy. Hmm, eh. I don't know. Speed belt's kind of tempting. I'll save that though. Ultimately, the early accessories don't really matter a whole lot. Save. Um, I can afford a lot of stuff right now. I should probably buy the gun for Luca. Now that I think about it. Buy. It's a pretty well. It's not a great upgrade actually. For 800 gold, it's really not worth it. I can get a brown tongue for Marla. Fifteen. Oh yeah, I gotta sell some stuff. Alright, there we go. Hope to save the oh, iron sword is what Frog has equipped right now. Well, we're not gonna need him for a while, so it's fine. I do have to equip the helm onto her though. I'll sell that later. No worries. But yeah, usually the combo I use to beat the game is Chrono, Marley, and Ayla. Because I their triple tech I think is just really, really good against Lavos. We're getting ahead of ourselves a little bit there though. Talking about endgame triple techs. It's pretty chill, Pants Manager. It's pretty chill. I may be biased, but 
I think it's pretty chill. Over 90. Much more chill than a DBZ fighter stream. I don't really have a way to stream like my PS4 or anything just yet. Otherwise, I'd stream some like Red Dead Redemption or something. But... Ooh, Aura World. Nice. Good for healing. I'm just trying to... So, the sprite, like, did this. Imagine somebody in real life just... Please call me Marl! Royalty's a bit crazy, though. You know? Generally. I'm not saying there's anything going on in that family line, but history teaches us something about that. <laughs> What's cooler than cool? Ice cold. Gates. Portals to the same location in a different time, which is a really cool concept. She really uh, figured a lot of stuff out. Although the funny thing is, is like it doesn't say how long after Chrono and Marl disappeared that it took Luca to figure this t stuff out and go back later. It could have been like a year or something. But then they go back to the exact time that Marl was like taken at. Something else made it. Have I played Chrono Trigger before? Yeah. Many, 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 many times. Probably... Probably played through it 30, 40 times or something at this point. Around once a year since the game came out. Yeah, I did start playing it on my YouTube channel a few years ago, but I never quite finished it. This will be a bit better. I'm actually gonna probably delete those videos and then upload these videos. As, uh, segmented things. Because obviously it's been a few years. We're playing through the stuff we played through before. See, one of the things I really like about this game is that, you know, it, it does a good job of establishing the personalities for the characters really effectively and really quickly. Like, what do we, you know, we've just done the opening mission and you know, what do we know already about the characters? Chrono, you know, even though he doesn't say anything because he's, he's a protagonist in a JRPG and obviously you don't really talk very often in that case, um, we know he's brave, he's willing to throw himself out there and help people in need. He just seems like a good soul, you know? He's a good guy. And uh, Luca, obviously a brilliant inventor, also willing to jump in to save the day as well. Not quite as fleshed out as the other characters yet. Um, and Marley, a princel, a princess, princel, princel, a princess, who is fed up with her life in the castle, obviously, and just wants to get out and hang out and do things, so you have a little bit of sympathy for her. So you kind of get this, like, little attachment to all the characters early on, and of course Frog, you know, something is clearly bothering him, some past disgrace, but he's still sort of watching from the shadows, too try to be the hero that Guardia needs, but maybe not the one that they deserve. I think that's how that works. Alright. Uh, yeah, I might stream some Overwatch with Monty. Who knows? I have in the past. What I really want to do is more Sea of Thieves, with uh, Monty and Uber are the, the primary crew. Won't have time for uh, Sea of Thieves tonight, but maybe, hopefully in the near future, there'll be a lot more of it. Let's go home. So we're back to the Millennial Fair. Mess with the runners. And, of course, you gotta go and 
Check in at your house. Make sure uh, mom knows what's up. What's up, cat? So, I think, in order to keep things a bit more bite-sized, and because I have to run out and meet somebody for dinner soon, um, I'm going to end the stream there today. But, uh, yeah, going to play a lot more of this in the uh, near future. Uh, this VOD will be uploaded to YouTube. Uh, click on the Discord link underneath to join the Discord server, start chatting. I made it more or less for people to kind of share hobbying stuff for Warhammer, but anyone can kind of hang out. There's an Overwatch um, section there, too. But yeah, I'm gonna try to stream a little bit every day. We'll see. Yeah. Sorry if you just tuned in. There'll be more later. You can catch the whole YouTube VOD because I'll upload it right after this. Yeah. Sorry guys. If I had more time tonight, I, I would stream more, but I'm pressed for time this evening. But uh, there'll be more in the future. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys soon.